Okay, so on our server we have our capture image ready to capture our Windows 7 computer. So when we boot our Windows 7 workstation that has all the apps installed that we want it to, we now need to image it. So I'm going to switch over to our Windows 7 computer. Notice I have Google Chrome installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the program from my computer C drive inside of Windows and we'll go to system 32 and look for the sysprep folder there it is so I'm going to execute the sysprep application and again that's on the C drive Windows system 32 sysprep I'm going to double click on this and it's going to run a little program pull this out of the way this sysprep tool I'm going to use to, I have a couple options here, enter system audit mode. That's where it will create, help me create an XML file. Or I'm going to enter system out of the box experience. And I'm going to check generalize. Now typically I would have my computer just shut down. That means that it will just shut the computer down when, I'm, when it's complete. Because it will have erased all of the identity of this computer. So I hit OK. And it's working, working, working. So now my computer is shutting down and it's done, turned off. So now that this computer is turned off, now I can reboot the computer, but I need to ensure that I boot immediately into the network and load the capture image so I can start copying the files off this computer. So if I were to start this up again, it's going to load DHCP, connect to the server, and this is where I choose capture image. And now it's loading my capture image as before, but this time we should see a volume that we can actually copy up to the server now. Okay, now I have the option to go next on this capture image wizard. And now I can select the volume. Now it says D, don't freak out on this. Because the, the C drive on the computer right now, the C drive is actually the RAM drive or the operating system's virtual hard drive that it created over the, heart, over the um, network. So we're going to give this a name, and we're going to go, this is the first golden workstation, image description, testing, sys, prep, and hit next. And now we need a name and location. So we hit browse, and we go to computer, and we should see a location that we can put this to. And that is the boot. So we need to actually mount a network. So we're going to upload the image to a Windows deployment server. The server name is, if I go back to my server, the server name is lanwan-srv1. Connect. Type in our administrator account. And we need to actually identify the domain name. 
and now image group, we're gonna put it in our image group one. So now when we run the normal boot image, it's gonna give us that third option to install the golden workstation. Uh, the name and location, we need to identify a physical location here. So what we need to do is mount a network drive so we'll actually upload it. Even though it's adding this information to the WDS server, we still need to identify a physical location to store this. So on here again, what we do to identify a location to store this image to is we hold the shift key and hit F10 and we type the net use command. So we're gonna do net use and we'll just choose a drive letter. Uh, let's just use G colon slash slash the name of our server and our server name is located right there lan wan dash srv1 dot lan wan dot prv slash golden and that drive mapping is actually located right here on our server so I created a share and this is the share that we just mounted to so if I go in here and create a new text file, if I go back to my workstation, I should be able to type net use and see that I have a drive letter G now. And do a DIR, I can see that new text file is created. So now you can see the relationship between what the workstation sees and where we're gonna be dumping this image to the G drive. So I can exit out of that. Now I hit browse, go to computer, and now I have a drive letter G, which is scroll down here. There's G, network location. And I give it a file name, golden sysprep. Hit save. And notice it saves it as a WIM file, just like our original install images. Hit next. And now it's copying the hard drive of this workstation up to my server. And there it is right there. And you'll see the size start to start to grow. So as you can see over here, there's some temp files getting created. And the size of my WIM file is getting larger. And when it's done, I'll have a complete image up on my server.